Significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Angelo Perryman of Perryman Building, and he is going to share with us significant, significant stories. A little bit of history, a little bit of entrepreneurship, and a little bit of inspiration. Angelo, welcome to Significant TV. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of a build-up, but very important. Before we got started um, officially on the show, we were talking about entrepreneurship, construction, and the community, and the fact that even in 2016, building entrepreneurship is, is something that's kind of in progress. Can you take us back to Perryman Building, how it got started, and why your business is adding impact here in Philadelphia today. Oh, wow. That would make me look way, way back. Uh, way, way back, which is beautiful. <laughs> which is beautiful. Uh, well, my father is the uh, founder of the firm. Uh, mm -hmm. It was founded in 1954. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, it was founded in a small town called Evergreen, Alabama. Uh, and if to put that in context, uh, that would be uh, about 5,000 people in a region of three counties. Mm. Uh, my father uh, initially was a farmer. Uh, in an effort to try to gain some more skills, he decided to enlist into the Korean War, uh, where he picked up trade skills from carpentry to plumbing to masonry. Uh, but the thought was is that when he came back from, uh, uh, I should also say that he was a Bronze Star and Purple Heart recipient. Mm. Uh, so when he came Thank back you. from um, th from the war, his belief was, as it was in those days, that you would uh, go to work where your parents worked. Mm -hmm. uh, but his experience with worldly things and people, being a part of a, a group of military officers that are uh, from all parts of the world and different views, uh, he wasn't received as welcome as he thought he would be for that job opportunity. Mm -hmm. So he had to go to his toolbox and uh, he started by way of uh, doing specialty trades as home repairs and he turned his home repair effort into a business. Mm -hmm. And uh, now as the second generation operator, which is now puts our firm 62 years old, mm -hmm. uh, we've been involved with uh, over a thousand projects in the Philadelphia region. Uh, as most currently, we were the local construction manager for the Democratic National Convention venue at Wells Fargo this year. A huge project. Very huge project. Six weeks to put together a national venue uh, that the world would see. Right. And uh, so we take a lot of pride in knowing that uh, a small, uh, small town firm uh, stuck with it and uh, accomplished something that had national recognition. Wow. Mm. From Evergreen, Alabama to Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> you're growing the business mm. and potentially it'll be a third generation business. Tell us about the growth of the business in Philadelphia and some of the projects that you've been involved in and why you took those projects, why they make mm -hmm. a difference to you. Well, it wasn't a direct from, from Evergreen to Philadelphia. Mm. Uh, I, the firm, uh, uh, as a part of my develop personal development, I've worked on an oil quenching system in Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, a mm -hmm. uh, multi-security uh, multi prison facility in Detroit, Michigan, a uh, Lexan facility in Burkeville, Alabama. So it's, it's been several projects. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it wasn't quite as simple as that. But mm -hmm. since we've been in Philadelphia, we've, uh, we were a significant part of the Pennsylvania Convention Center construction. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, we just recently completed a project for Children's Hospital, uh, which was the Family Care Center on South Broad Street. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've had a number of projects that would be considered uh, uh, first of a kind, mm -hmm. very unique, hard to plan, uh, uh, with unique expectations from clients that are uh, very critical. Mm -hmm. So that has become part of your niche and part of your brand that yeah. organizations can look to you, Perryman Building, to understand those specs um, and deliver 
yes. on those specifications. Yes. Yeah. We've been very fortunate that all of the different experiences that we've had over my now personal 30 years of it in, uh, industry experience, we now have that repertoire of information that allows a customer to have a lot of confidence that it has been a project that we are being considered for, uh, has been thought through thoroughly, uh, that we have the insight of the talent expertise needed to meet the objectives that they're expecting, and at the end of the day that we have a passion for the work that we do first mm -hmm. to let them know that we're in it to the end. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Construction is a, is a difficult business to be in. And when we were talking earlier before the cameras and the lights started, you talked about, um, in a sense, being a community contracting firm. And I thought that was interesting because certainly you're a large business. Um, but talk about the community impact and, and why that's important to you as a business owner and leader. Well, I, I think it kind of ties back to our original culture. Mm -hmm. uh, whereby uh, I know how it feels not to have a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we have, an, even though it may not be an expectation by contract, mm -hmm. we have a personal expectation of our team to find ways to give back to communities that we do projects in. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will take the extra steps that where there is uh, skill, capability, uh, experiences that are unique to what's expected, Mm -hmm. that we find ways to ha have a person fit where they do their best, mm -hmm. you know. So we feel very fortunate that we've been, we would take that chance where others may want to take the guarantee. Okay. But, but in the long term, I always think about uh, if someone had not given us that shot, then we may not have accomplished a lot of the things that we've been fortunate to accomplish. Mm -hmm. We're in 2016. Where do you see your organization five years from now? Since you're in the building business, how will you build your future? Wow, that's a, that's a really interesting question. Mm -hmm. but it's, it's a tough one that forces mm -hmm. me to think about uh, the next generation of mm -hmm. uh, leadership at Perryman Building. Uh, as I have always seen myself, as, uh, uh, to a large degree, I, I, I do a lot of teaching. Uh, uh, from the vantage point of uh, things that I've learned the hard way to hopefully allow folks to take a, a path less resistant. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're now going into our third generation of leadership, uh, have been in training, I think, for about eight years now. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is not something that is easy or that is by chance. Mm -hmm. You know, we've tried to be intentional. Uh, so the intentional part is is to make sure that those that will take my my role mm -hmm. uh, have the opportunity to understand why we made the decisions that we made because mm -hmm. there are always choices mm -hmm. and uh, we want those choices to be consistent with the founding of the firm. Mm -hmm. You're really speaking to culture, beliefs, and values. Mm -hmm. Explicitly, what are the values within your company and why or how do they make your organization unique? Uh, you know, our motto is we build your vision. Mm -hmm. So we take a lot of pride in just trying to understand what the client wants. In many ways, uh, most clients find their first, uh, call us for those first of a kind projects. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try to take it to heart. What do you want your buyer? to see. Mm -hmm. And if I can deliver that, then you will recommend us to others mm -hmm. that may be interested in something unique, special, mm -hmm. that deserves the proper uh, gravitas. Mm. <laughs> wow, wow. So we like, we like uh, uh, being able to say that we delivered what you wanted and mm -hmm. that, you, uh, that you are satisfied mm -hmm. with the end product. Mm -hmm. uh, we use the words like, you know, my word is, if I tell you, it's more important than any contract. Okay. You know, uh, so to a large degree, it doesn't matter about size that you are. Mm -hmm. You know, it's what you're willing to stand with and stand for. Mm -hmm. How do you then as a leader teach that to not only the individuals within your business, but all the vendors that you work with, um, mm -hmm. all of the 
advisors and people that are part of the entrepreneurial ecosystem here in Philadelphia? Mm -hmm. Well, to a large degree, because culture is different from depending on who's looking at it, mm -hmm. you know, we do it one at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've never made decisions totally focused on uh, revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, it has always been about character. Uh, can we work with the person? Mm -hmm. uh, do they have a real intention of having some legacy of their own? Mm -hmm. uh, and how can we help them extend that? Mm -hmm. uh, when you know, uh, you know, I can uh, recall a personal message. Uh, I had a carpenter that worked for us, and you kind of can tell where it impacts people, because he was a 30-year carpenter, and he was saying that this is the first time I've ever had one W-2 given to me in a given year. Wow! And uh, that's when you kind of know that you've uh, you've hit something. Mm -hmm. When you can say uh, this person now can say he found a place that he can call his work home. Mm. Uh, and that's what we kind of need more of. It's the little things. It's mm -hmm. not the huge things. Mm -hmm. But if everybody takes a little bit, mm -hmm. then you'll find something that gives people hope. Mm -hmm. Right. So you were making a difference in his life in mm -hmm. terms of providing the stability of yes. an ongoing project yeah. that then gave him a full year's employment. Yes. And he got that W-2. Yes. And, 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 you know, when you start hearing those kind of stories, you know, you, you, you understand that your mission is bigger than the work, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's important for us, important for me personally. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we probably, uh, as a firm, you know, you sometimes just easily get drawn into the, we should be bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, when you incorporate, it means that you last forever. <laughs> so right? the purpose right. is, is that you want to build something that can last forever. Mm, so we powerful. 62 years into it. 62, <laughs> wow. That, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Mm. Um, Philadelphia right now is growing, going through a building spurt. I mean, there's buildings all over the place. Yeah. Um, what is your role, either personally or professionally, in helping to shape where Philadelphia is going forward in, in the construction mm -hmm. arena? Well, you know, we, we are a part of a number of boards, and what we find is, is that sometime... Uh, Sometimes those that are in the room don't always have a good network of information to make mm -hmm. decisions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pride ourselves at, at, at being able to give the real story, the real feedback. And uh, one of the things that I think we've talked about more times than not is uh, from depression nationally mm -hmm. to present growth, Mm -hmm. is that we really need to look at the marketplace and make sure that we've created places for interested providers mm -hmm. to be. So mm -hmm. whether that's small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and naturally large businesses, mm -hmm. there's a place for everybody and it's a place for them to grow and elevate. Mm -hmm. uh, but when, when, you, when, it, when the marketplace typecasts groups, Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very hard to communicate the value, the unstated value that they bring. Mm -hmm. Well, you clearly have value and you're showing it in different ways, wonderful projects that you're working on. Would you share with the audience how they can find out more about you, either through the website or giving you a call? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, our firm is, uh, uh, has a website address, uh, which is uh, PerrymanBC.com. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives a, a uh, historical view of our firm, some of our more recent projects, and some of the uh, highlights that that would that most would find interesting because mm -hmm. it's 
we have re realized that we're a very unique firm. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, Angelo, thank you so much for joining us today. It's really been a pleasure, a piece of history. I hear the voice of your father. I see you sitting in front of me. Um, and I know that the firm will continue with the third generation. Very exciting. Continue to do the significant work that you do in helping to build not only the city, but build a future for a lot of businesses. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, significant TV.